Hey guys, welcome to Carmine Street Picks, where we pick three books that we think you should read this week. Guys, villain month is over. We did it. We made it through the wilderness. We made it through. Guys, even better, we have a sponsor now, huh? Guys, welcome our new sponsor, Great Poupon. A fancy man's mustard. Our first pick is The Star Wars. Not Star Wars, but The Star Wars. You know, like, hey guys, have you seen The Star Wars? It's really good, says the guy who's never seen Star Wars but wants to fit in. The Star Wars is based off George Lucas' original draft, but it feels like a cheap knockoff. You know, like how other mustards feel like a cheap knockoff of Greg Poupon. The fanciest of mustards. Our second pick is Trillium. And if you're also reading Trillium, what the fuck is going on? Please explain it to me, because I have no idea. With the help of a flower, people can time travel and uh, find love. I, I literally have no idea what the fuck is going on. Like, people try to say, like, oh, he's in the future, and she's in... This. I don't know. I ha I don't know. You know what I don't get? This book. But you know what I do get? That sweet, fancy taste of Greg Poupon. <laughs> it's a Poupon working. Our last pick is Morning Glories. And if you want to start your morning off with a little glory, have yourself some Greg Poupon. You know, I really taste the poop on. <laughs> Guess I got what I deserve. Guys, we are here to remember a once great man, John Gorga, known for his love of cheese sticks, beef jerky sticks, most things in stick form. He was murdered last week in the middle of a poorly planned episode of Carmine Street Picks. Now we're here to celebrate the man and all his very small accomplishments. Steve Leshy, known associate and probable killer. Come on up here and have a word. Pat, hmm? no one claps at a funeral. Okay. Is that a bad thing? That's a bad thing. John died. Thank you. Now we're going to have a reading. Father Joe, if you will come up. Now a reading from the book of Stacy. Take care of her, Peter. Issue 90, page 20, panel 4, Amazing Spider-Man. With great power comes, comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. Uncle Ben. Uncle, Uncle ben. ben. I may be with you. 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 Beautiful words. Beautiful words. But we have to realize John is dead. But it's okay. He died at the, the ripe old age of 63. <clears throat> at, yes? He was 26. What? Yeah. Oh, really? 26? Oh, my God. Was he, like, sick? No. Nah. Really? So yeah. he just looked like that? Yeah. That's just his face. Well, no. It was time. It was, it was John's time to go. He always took the longest time to go. But that's okay. We might have lost our little Johnny boy, our little, our little old man, as wrinkly as your father's ball sack. But just know this. He went in peace. He was only stabbed 37 times. Guys, if anyone has anything else to say, 
Anything at all. Anyone. Just anyone. Yeah. Anything to say. Yeah, I just got it. Anyone. Anyone. Anyone's spirit. totally, totally got to make it clear that I'm okay. This is a joke. I'm okay. Ah! Great I'm alive. spirit! This is a joke. John, are you with us? Oh, oh, yeah, Pat, I'm right here. Oh, no, John! Pat, I'm please, right fucking here. Don't haunt us no more! You're, don't haunt the spirit! You're doing that. Spirit! Go on, spirit! Spirit! Move, how spirit! You, how you, spirit! Spirit, move! What's in the fucking box, move anyway? What's in the box? What's in the... Why, it's Greg Poupon. A fancy man's mustard. Ooh! Huh. Thanks for watching the video. Next week, I'm excited for... Pardon me. Do you have any Greg Poupon? Why, of course. It's the fancy man's mustard. Like, subscribe. <laughs> like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram <laughs> at com. <laughs> Street Picks. Enjoy.